Well, hello everyone. This is your unmanned pilot, John Victor Jacobson, and we're here today at the Clark Reservoir Dam site, and it looks like there's some activity on site today. Uh, they, uh, I believe this is a subcontractor of the Union County Freeholders who are going to clear cut the earthen dam uh, slope there and uh, put some kind of a fabric down and then some uh, topsoil over the top of it. You can see some piles over there to the bottom left. And uh, uh, it looks like they got uh, some kind of a caterpillar machine there. And uh, I'm going out for the day, so I just wanted to get a flight in and take a look around to see what it looks like before they started work. So that's it. Well, damn nation. Uh, well, I, Toby and I and Virginia were out of town in the Poconos today. Uh, the Union County Freeholders uh, continued on a project that they started back in March. Yeah, they clear cut the uh, embankment of this earthen dam and then uh, they were gonna put some kind of a, a webbing down and some grass over it so that the uh, trees would not grow back on that embankment. So let's go check it out. What do you say? Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, whoever's still in charge of this uh, mess has got to take uh, that tree out. Every time the wind blows that tree, you know what happens? That valve moves because I've seen it. And you know what? That ain't right. I want to them bolts are coming out look at that that bolts coming out this is bad news friends this is bad news well damn nation -wee! So Toby and I are crossing the bridge here at the bend in Madison Hill Road it took them three years to make this bridge work three years I had to hear pounding and machines for three years isn't that right Toby yeah, buddy. Well, damn nation. Huh. They clear cut that wall. Let's go take a look at it. What do you say? Are you ready? Here we go. Is it, Toby? Yeah, it is some deep shit. And I didn't put on my tick spray. Uh, I'm going to take a nice bath when I get back home. Okay, so we're coming out into a clearing. And here's what they've got. Okay, there's... And it looks like they've got a couple of piles of uh, topsoil there. And uh, it looks like they used up uh, the uh, matting that they had and they clear cut this whole damn thing. Let's go up to the top. What do you say? Yeah, let's do that. Oh wait, they haven't used up. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so they haven't used any of the topsoil yet. So tomorrow, they're probably going to be putting that on, but uh, boy, man, they did some cutting. Let's take a look. Oh, there's a deer. Hello, mama deer. Uh-oh, that's a mama, and I bet she's got a fawn back there, too. There's going to be a lot of habitat destruction here, but it's necessary, especially at this pipeline. These trees just have to come out. Every time they wave, they bounce off that pipe and off that steel beam and that ain't right you know what happens mysteries of the abandoned i sure do i see it every day oh, there we go. them bolts holding that pipe are starting to come loose and there's deer look at that see them straps them anchors are loose. You know why? Because all them trees are moving shit around every goddamn day. Where the pipeline goes into the earthen dam and then it makes a sharp left and it goes down that way. Okay, and right here, these are some great big gopher groundhog holes and uh, there's groundhogs running wild around this place. But they cleared this whole thing. Check this out. They cleared this whole thing. It's a lot of habitat destruction, but it's necessary. And I'm glad they stopped right there, but they absolutely have to clear the spillway on this side of the uh, spillway. They have to clear all the roots and all them trees growing into that spillway. 
Well, okay, we're here up at the top, and uh, damn nation, that is a beautiful body of water, but it's a very sick body of water. Yeah, the algae blooms here in the summertime are of biblical proportions, and boy, does it get nasty, let me tell you. It needs uh, a remediation. Uh, I'm going to suggest a series of uh, fountains all the way up to the end of this reservoir, which is uh, about a mile long, and it cuts Clark, New Jersey in half. So uh, I think that's gotta be done. And uh, I suppose they need to clean this up around this concrete. They really left a mess kind of here. They didn't really clean it. They, they clear cut it. Now they have to clean it. And then uh, I guess they're gonna put that topsoil down and try and plant some grass and keep uh, the vegetation from uh, you know, cutting into the earthen dam structure because that's what it's doing. And the same thing with that pipeline and them dam trees. Let's take another look at it from down over on the other yeah, side. Yeah, well, okay, you can see it pretty clearly on this side. And uh, they really clear cut the hell out of this. But now you can see what's happening here. This is a nice stand of trees and it really looks nice and and the, the wildlife love it, but you know what? It has to come out because this poop pipeline, the poopy pipeline, uh, has to be maintained properly. It needs to be painted. Uh, the bolts uh, and the anchors need to be reset, and these trees need to come out. And damn nation, that spillway needs to be cleared too. Right, Toby Doodle? You betcha. What do you smell? Hey, guess who's over there? Hey, look, it's Mama Deer and the twins. Look at that. Well, hey there, Mama Deer. Hey there, <laughs> Doughy. Aren't you pretty? Yeah. She comes in here through holes in the fence because there's lots of them. And uh, she brings her fawns and it's safe at night and that's where she should stay. But tomorrow, Oh, a whole bunch of people gonna be back here trying to remediate this situation. And I think they need to clean this mess up all the way up one side and down the other. Don't you think so? I do. What do you say, Toby? I say, damn nation. Hoo-wee! Nation. The Middlesex Water Company needs to get in here and clear the brush off these friggin' buildings. Oh my God, look at that shit. And look at this one too, look at it, they have to clear that. And this little building needs a new roof and uh, brick pointed and uh, the concrete needs to be inspected and yeah, all that good stuff. What do you say, Toby? I say, damn nation. Hoo Don't you just love wildlife? That is a mother doe uh, protecting her two little fawns over there. See them? They're standing right next to each other. Yep, there they are. It's okay. We're not gonna bother you. We're not gonna hurt you. You know us. We know you. This is our hometown. This is Clark, New Jersey. And I love it here. This is my home sweet home. This is the place I was... I... I came to as my happily ever after. And to see these animals out here is just a blessing. You bet it is. I don't know how else to say it. But uh, life is good. And it should stay that way. And this dam needs to be rehabilitated. I want to see fountains all the way up and down one side and the other. You're damn right I do because it's a damn nation if you don't. You know what happens? Huh. I'll let me show you. So this is what an algae bloom looks like at the Clark Reservoir on Google Earth. And this is what it looks like uh, up close and personal. And uh, yeah, that was not a pleasant day, let me tell you.